In the beginning of the White Revolution, farmers depended totally on cattle feed. They did not feel the importance of green fodder, especially the protein-rich dicot fodders. Even today, traditional farmers of Malnad parts of Karnataka use paddy straw for their cattle, which is not advisable. But now, the bigger dairies are giving equal importance for fodder cultivation in the planning stage itself. That has shown the way for success. Fodder requirement of the animals is 2.5% of its body weight on dry matter basis. Out of that, one third is dry fodder and two third is green wet fodder. Out of the total green, 25% should be dicot herbage and remaining 75% is monocot grass. Dry fodder is a must even if you have enough green fodder. If only green is fed, the milk yield drops and animal becomes lean. Do not use paddy straw. Oxalic acid in it will drain off calcium from the body of the animal. Chawar, ragi, wheat straws and all dicot crop herbages are good fodders. Give the fodder twice a day in the morning and evening. Feeding throughout the day is not a good practice. If the food is not masticated well, it goes waste. Hence, it fails to reflect in milk yield. Shaft the fodder, otherwise a stem with more nutrients will go waste. Buffaloes of this kind needs 20 to 25 kilograms of fodder per day. Requirement of cattle feed depends on the quality of the fodder. If enough quantity of green grasses and dicots are available, one can manage with less concentrates. Supply half kilogram of cattle feed for each liter of milk produced. Additional one kilogram of cattle feed is necessary for pregnant animal. For high yielding animals, provide 30 grams of mineral mixture and 15 to 30 grams of lime in addition. In some dairies, cattle feed is soaked in hot water and fed. This helps for easy digestion and avoids the chance of fungal infection. There are many cattle feed brands in the market, but it works out costlier for bigger dairies. It is better to prepare concentrates on the farm itself. Let us see the general recipe of cattle feed. The breakup of 100 kg feed mixture is like this. Broken grains 25 kg, cereal bran 40 kg, oil seed cake 30 kg, mineral mixture 3 kg and common salt 2 kg. For buffaloes, give additional quantity of oil seed cake to match its high fat content of the milk. To be short, the best cattle feed should have 15 to 20 percent of protein content. Let us study the green fodder species and varieties now. We can divide them as monocot and dicot species. Again in dicot, there are field crops, bushes and tree fodders. Among monocot grasses, hybrid napiers, bracaria, guinea, fodder maize, perennial sorghum, road grass etc. are the important species. Few dairies use even sugarcane as a fodder whenever the price comes down. In dicot field crops, stylosanthus species, lucerne, sun hemp, velvet bean and dicot crop herbages are the important ones. Perennial leguminous species like bahunia, rain tree, subabul, hedge lucerne, sasbenia, glericidia are the good fodder sources.